Hey, my name is Flix Kim and I'm here to play some Star Stable. But before we begin, let's read this text. According to ancient legend, the island of Yori was once nothing, nothing more, more than, than a desolated rock in the cold, in the cold Wait, dark sea. What? Until Shut up! One I'm winning this! And stormy night, Shut up! A star struck down. Alright, let's work for me. A girl on horseback sprang forth from the fading flames. She rode gracefully across the surface of the stormy water, leaving calm and stillness in her wake, carrying with her a light and a golden harp. The girl and her horse reached the bleak and lifeless shores, and she cast down her light in the very center of the island. Waves of life began to surge across the island, and all that was once cold and dark was brought to life through warmth and light. Legend has it that the horses of Jorvik share a special bond with the islanders. Deep beneath the sea, an ancient force of evil known as Garnok has been resting since the beginning of time. In secret, the mystical keepers of A.D. fight to keep the darkness away and protect Yorvik from those who want to destroy its light. In times of despair, a sisterhood of soul riders will ride forth to protect the island from the evil that seeks to rip the world apart. It is foretold that a sisterhood led by a heroic and fearless girl will appear on horseback, will bring hope and light back to those who believe that all is lost. Are you that girl? Okay, so here I am. My name is Avis. Uh, I'm here and I'm going to talk to Justin Moreland. Hi! You must be Avis. I'm Justin. Pleased to meet you and welcome to Moreland Stables. Me and my father Thomas run these stables. Right now things are a bit hectic. A nasty boss from the big corporation GED, Mr. Campbell, is doing everything he can to evict us and tear down the stable to be able to build condos here. We are still trying to figure out what we can do to stop him, but he's more slippery than than an eel. But forget that, you're, you're new here and I'm not trying to spoil your summer. I know my sum is going to be the worst sum I am stars, but I'm going to do some many quest and help all these people. Oh, there is Lemon Beauty. Ah, oh, it's my horse, Lemon Beauty. Who will be your horse this summer? Why don't you go for a short ride and get to know each other? Go talk with me outside the stable in the... Uh, or the courtyard when you are finished. I think she knows where Jenna the stable girl is. Okay, so this is my horse, uh, Lemon Beauty. A beautiful name if you are a lemon. I'm already done with this quest uh, on the Swedish server. I'm uh, level 17 on the Swedish server. Nay! Hey. Hi! I'm A. Nice to meet you, Avis. You know, I came here for the first time five years ago and have and have visited Moorland stables every summer since then. It's the best place to spend your vac vacation. Right now I'm doing some work here in the stable to earn some extra York shillings to spend. Come back here later and I'll have some work for you to do if you want. Oh, another thing. You can always return to stable if you get lost. Just make a pickup call and someone will come and get to wherever you are and return you here in the blink of an eye. Well, I don't think there's anything more for you to see here right now. You should go and speak to Jenna, the stable girl over there, to learn more about how things work here at Moorland Stables. Just turn south, and you will see her. Alright, I'll do that. South. Is it this way? Yes, it is. Hi, Avis. There you are. I've been waiting for you. I can tell that you and Lemon Beauty make a good team. It seems like you have known each other, all, each other for all your lives. You're going to accomplish amazing things. Mark my word. Normally, it's Mr. Molan who introduces new visitors to the stables, but he's a very busy man at the moment, so I'm filling in. I don't know if you've heard about, heard about this, this awful company called Yidi that wants to tear this place down and build houses on the grounds. 
Don't disturb Mr. Molan unless you have to. He's working really hard to find a way to stop that slimy Mr. Campbell. But enough about that. Even for I'm a normal hand in the stable duties, I think I can tell you a thing or two about riding as well. Now, before I let you outside, yes, you have to show me that you can ride safety. Behind me you'll find a small track with poles laid out on the ground. This is called a uh, cavaletti and should be enough to prove that you know the basics of riding. Complete the track and return to me. Alright. I think after I finish uh, this track I will uh, be a bit faster with the horse. Faster! Faster! And now we can ride faster! Oh. That was great! Good job on completing the Cavaletti. You and Lemon Beauty really worked as a team. Keep it up, now I think you're ready for some more serious riding. And as I promised, you are now allowed to gallop and to go outside the Morland stables. Yes! I can go outside Morland stables. And I leveled up to level 2. And I'm fast too. Okay, so this is Morland. If you get lost or need to go back to the stable, you can find a, find a pickup service in the main menu at this button and press yeah, escape. All right. Oh! There's uh, a, uh, a worker for GED. Hey, you can't go there. I told you, the road is blocked. Oh, we have a quest here. Moreland Forge. Well, hello there. Greetings to you and to your fine steed. You look young and strong. Maybe you could help me with a small task. Just the other day, my old assistant Patrick was bringing me a shipment of the finest tools from Jovic stables. He was almost here when one of those the stardly bobcat girls came racing down the Damascus mine road and almost rode him down. He got so scared that he ran all the way here but he dropped all the tools along the way. He is not a brave man and now refused to go back out there. So my new tools are just lying out there somewhere. Rusting away. I don't have time to go look for them just them myself but maybe you could do it for me. I would be forever in your gratitude young lady. The shipment contained a hammer, a clincher and a shiny mine pick of the finest Jovic steel. Okay, so I can see on this map uh, the orange uh, marks here, but it's here I'm going to look for the tools. Condition fulfilled. Oh, we can see our tools here. We have a mining pick, Conrad's clincher, Conrad's blacksmith hammer. Ha! You're an angle, Avis. This is indeed a great day. I am so happy that you were able to find all my tools. Come back to me tomorrow. Well, then I will start working on some really nice horseshoes. Now I have to take care of my tools. I think it's Jenna. You can talk to if you want to uh, slip over. And uh, then you can uh, continue with the quest or you can wait till uh, tomorrow. Well, Avis, I think you need something a bit more challenging to do. The Cavaletti was, was no match for you. Outside the West Stable Gate is the Bobcat Girls Riding Club's paddock. Go there and talk to Loretta. She is one of the best riders and always friendly and helpful to newcomers. Ask her if she can show you how real competitions work around here and maybe she will even let you join the Bobcat Girls. They are a great riding club. Yes! I'm going to... Uh, <gasps> new ability, you cannot go up. I'm even more faster now. I think. Here I have Loretta. What? Yes, I'm Loretta. And who are you? Not that I care. Avis. That's your name. Really? Well, it sounds very... <laughs> very pretty and intelligent. Oh. Oh my. Avis. Oh my. Avis. What a beautiful name. Oh my. I bet your horse name is just as lame. I bet it's like... Puffy Heart or something. Lemon Beauty, uh, it was almost uh, Puffy Heart. Lemon Beauty. <laughs> I'm, I'm physic. So what are you doing here? Anyway, Jenna told you I was going to teach you how to compete. Great. You know what? Actually I'm kind of bored right now, so why not? You and Puffy Heart should try racing some in the paddock. Who knows, maybe it will make me smile. At your fantastically fast speed. I can already tell that you never make it into the club. Judge up. I will make it into the club. You're still here. I thought I told you that you could try out the paddock already. What is it that you don't understand? Come on already. Get to the starting line. Alright, let's do it. Woo! Shit. It's really hard to turn this horse. I'm at the finish line.
Okay, that was not too bad for a beginner. I'm not a beginner, I'm like a uh, pro. I, I've been doing this for like two years now. Yes. I admit that I wasn't super good at controlling my horse when I first came here either. All that will change when you get more experienced and acquire better equipment. You will never be a bobcat girl though, that's for sure. Uh, so, what to do now? Speak with Tan. Hi, I'm Tan. Loretta showed you how to race in the paddock. Uh, but now I'll show you how the bobcat girls like to ride for real. This might be, be tough for a newbie like you, but take it slow if you have to. You're not a pro rider like us. I don't think you'll ever be able to beat our high scores. You don't look like you have what it takes, but you're welcome to try. Watch out for the GED construction site. Horses are scared of construction machines, so don't get too close. It's really boring to race when the horse is uh, this low. But it will be faster as uh, more you level up the horse. Finish! Hmm, okay. That wasn't exactly amazing, but you did well. You are still far from our real high scores, but that only natural. You see, if that felt difficult or slow or whatever, just wait until you and Lemon Beauty have spent some more time on the riding tracks around here. Lemon Beauty will get much faster. It will feel like another horse, but don't get your hopes up. The Bobcat girls can't be beaten. If you want to try anyway, you can, but only once a day. We don't want newbies like you messing up our track fluffy. <laughs> She's a real bitch. Your horse has gone up the level. Yes! My horse is level 2 now. Hey Avis, Justin is looking for you. He probably just needs some newcomer to mark uh, out the stable. you find him the, in the courtyard behind the stable. Don't let him wait. Just a minute. One more thing. Keep away from Justin. He's mine and nobody will ever come between us. Not that there's any chance that he will ever be interested in somebody like you. <gasps> What up, Justin? Avis! There you are, I was looking for you. Sometimes when completing a quest, you are reward an item. Gear makes you perform better when riding. You can double click on. Oh, I got a new shirt. Uh, a jacket. No, this. Something. A green ugly jacket. You will notice as you uh, continue watching me play this game, uh, you will notice that I. I'm a big fan of the color blue. I'm really excited to uh, continue playing uh, uh, Star Stable from the beginning again. And I'm very excited to do it on English to see how, it's, uh, how it will uh, work out. If I'm going to get some uh, views and uh, new followers. If I'm going to expand. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like if you want to see more. And if you like this video. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye! In the next episode of Star Stable Online. You must kill Mr. Campbell. Die, motherfucker!